In this video, we will try to understand how to draw velocity diagram in case of 4 bar mechanism. The arrangement of this particular mechanism is shown over here and the problem statement is also given over here. In a 4 bar link mechanism, the crank AB, so this is the crank AB which is of 200 mm length and it is rotating at 36 radian per second. The lengths of the link are, so the length length AB is 200 mm length, then BC is 400 then CD is 450 mm and this AD is 600 mm in length. Now it is given that at the instant when AB is at right angle to AD. So this AB is shown perpendicular to this AD or right angle to this fixed link AD. And we have to find out the velocity of midpoint of link BC. So BC is the coupler link and its midpoint is supposed to say E. We have to find out the velocity of this particular point E. Then we have to find out the velocity of the point on the link CD which is 100 mm from the pin connecting the link CD and AD. So this is the pin which is connecting this link CD and this AD and a point which is 100 mm away from this particular pin is F point. And so we have to find out the velocity of this particular point F also. So this is a typical example in which we have to find out the velocity of midpoint of this coupler link or intermediate link that is E and the extension point F. So let us first draw this particular mechanism to a certain suitable scale. So link lengths they are shown over here already we have seen that AB is of 200 mm length and it is perpendicular to this link AD then BC is of 400 mm length, then CD is 450 and AD is 600 mm length. E is the midpoint, so it will be lie, lying at a distance of 200 mm and F is the extension of this link CD at a distance of 100 mm from this particular pin. Now we will take some suitable scale for the space diagram. So 1 cm is equal to 100 mm. So link AB is of 200 mm length, so 200 divided by 100, so by scale it will be 2 cm. So first we will draw a perpendicular line to this link AD. So AD is of 600 mm length, so 600 divided by 100 that is 6 cm. Then draw a perpendicular to this of 2 cm. Then from B draw an arc of 4 cm. Similarly from D draw an arc of 4.5 cm. They will intersect each other at point C. So BC is 4 cm. Locate the midpoint of this that is E. Then extend this particular by 1 cm because point F is 100 mm away from this particular link at pin at this particular D. So that will complete our space diagram. Now velocity of B with respect to fixed point A will be perpendicular and in the direction of rotation. Suppose we assume that the direction of rotation of this particular link is clockwise. So if we assume this in the clockwise direction like this, then velocity will be in this particular direction. So velocity of B with respect to A will be perpendicular to this particular link. So it will be perpendicular and in the direction of rotation. Similarly, velocity of C with respect to B will be perpendicular to this particular link that is BC. So it will be perpendicular over here, but whose magnitude and direction we don't know. Then velocity of C with respect to D, D is the fixed point. It will be again perpendicular to the link that is CD, but whose magnitude and direction we don't know. So using this particular data, we can easily draw the velocity diagram. So once again, try to understand. So our first vector will be this particular vector that is velocity of B with respect to A. So B with respect to A will be perpendicular to this particular link AB and in the direction of rotation that is clockwise. Then velocity of C with respect to B. Either you can take C with respect to B or B with respect to C because these are the floating points. Generally, we take velocity with respect to fixed point. So C with respect to B, it will be again perpendicular to this link BC. Then velocity of C with respect to D because D is the fixed point. So it is velocity of CD and A and D, they are the fixed point. So their velocity will be zero. 
Now let us start with the velocity diagram. So take all the fixed points. So A is a fixed point, D is also a fixed point. So they are at one point as shown over here. Our first vector is velocity of B with respect to A. So out of this B and A, A point is known. So from A, draw a line parallel to this particular vector. And suppose we draw this line by 5 cm. So that is also indicated over here. So we will see how we have selected this particular 5 cm while calculating the velocity diagram scale. So our first vector is VBA. Out of this B and A, A point is known. So from A, draw a line parallel to this particular vector and in the given particular direction by say 5 cm length. Our another vector is velocity of C with respect to B. So out of this C and B, B point is known to us. So from this particular B point, draw a line parallel to this particular line which we have already drawn on our space diagram. Then our next vector is velocity of C with respect to D. Out of this C and D, D point is known. So from D, draw a line parallel to this particular vector which we have already drawn but whose magnitude and direction we don't know. So the point of intersection of these two vectors, that is this particular vector and this vector. So velocity of CB and velocity of CD, the common point is C. So this is the point of intersection that is nothing but C. So we have obtained this velocity of C with respect to B. And if we measure this length from C to B, it is 2.7 centimeter. Then similarly, velocity of C with respect to D, if we measure that particular length, then it is 4.5 centimeter. Now we have to find out the velocity of midpoint of this BC. So BC is represented over here. Find out the midpoint of that particular and join it with the fixed point that is AD because we have to find out the velocity of E. So we can find out this velocity of E with respect to the fixed point that is A or D. So find out the midpoint. So this will be the midpoint of this link, this vector CB and from E draw a line up to D. So that dotted line is shown over here indicating velocity of E with respect to A. Then we have to find out the location of this particular point F on the diagram. So it is the extension of the link that is CD. So that we have to find out by ratio and proportion. So CD upon CF on the space diagram has to be equal to CD upon CF on the velocity diagram. So these capital letters we have used for the space diagram that is this particular diagram that is this space diagram and the small letters we have used for this velocity diagram. So CD on the space diagram that value is nothing but 4.5 then cf that is 4.5 plus this df is 1 so total is 5.5 now accidentally in this particular case this cd has also come to be same as 4.5 centimeter so our value of cf will be this 4.5 multiplied by 5.5 that is the cross multiplication again divided by 4.5 so again this 4.5 and 4.5 will get cancelled again we'll get what this 5.5 centimeter so point F it lies at a distance of 5.5 so distance C F so from C it is at a distance of 5.5 so extend this particular line same line and the total length from C up to F is 5.5 so that value also we have indicated over here and this F is already joined to the fixed point so there is no need of further connection of this particular F now the most important part so if we measure this EA length then or ED length then that comes out to be 4.56 or nearly 4.6 centimeter. Now the most important part is velocity diagram scale. Now velocity of B with respect to A that is velocity V is equal to R omega. So in this particular case R is the link length. So velocity of crank AB 
is velocity of b with respect to a because a is a fixed point so we are finding out velocity of b with respect to a that is length ab in meter multiplied by omega now we know that link length ab is 200 mm so convert that value into meter so it is 200 into 10 raised to minus 3 and omega is already given in the example it is given in the example that the crank ab it rotates at 36 radian per second so it comes out to be 7.2 meter per second but on our velocity diagram we have indicated that particular vector vba by 5 centimeter so we can say that 7.2 meter per second is represented by 5 centimeter on our velocity diagram then 1 centimeter will represent how much so that is known as the velocity diagram scale so once again try to understand this 7.2 meter per second it is the actual value it can be anything and suppose that particular value we are indicating on our velocity diagram by only 5 centimeter then 1 centimeter represents how much so therefore velocity diagram scale will be equal to 1 into 7.2 divided by 5 and that comes out to be 1.44 meter per second now we have to find out the velocity of midpoint of the connecting rod bc or coupler ring that is bc so midpoint is e and that e we have already joined to a and that length that length is already 4.56 centimeter by calculation so velocity of e with respect to a will be length ae in centimeter multiplied by velocity diagram scale so 4.56 into 1.44 so this 1.44 is nothing but 1 centimeter represents 1.44 meter per second then 4.56 will represent how much so that is the velocity of e with respect to a and it comes out to be 6.56 or 6.6 .6 roughly in meter per second similarly we have to find out the velocity of f with respect to a so measure this distance f a that distance is 1 and scale is 1.44 so 1 into 1.44 so it is 1.44 meter per second so in this way we can find out the velocity of midpoint of connecting midpoint of the coupler link that is e and the extension of link cd that is f thank you very much for watching